currently stop and go. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Sporting Goods is right around the corner and traffic is moving at turtle speed, you guys. Welcome back to another episode. We have got fishing grubs with us, fishing with Beckett in the back. Got enough light for y'all to even see them. They're behind 5% tent, don't tell the law. And then Devin is behind the camera. So we are going to make a little pit stop, I think, at Dick's Sporting Goods to grab some baits. Uh, y'all were talking about some top water, some Yo, revolvers. I, revolver. I know they got plenty of Guggen stuff here. Hopefully I can make this right. This is looking like a no-go. Oh, you got this. Yeah, they're fine. I don't think they care. Oh, almost took those. Angle. That was close. Angle. Thank you, guys. Wide angle curve. And uh, yeah, we're gonna grab some baits. We're taking the hot tamale out. We just picked up the boat from storage. We got them and we are headed to maybe grab a bite to eat first and then hit the water. We're gonna fish a smaller lake where Devin recently caught like a four pounder in one of the first casts. And we got on a little bit of a hot bite there for a minute. See if it doesn't produce. Otherwise there's another small one. We just found these out in the middle of the country with boat ramps and see if we can get on some fish today for you guys. So let's stop in Dick's and grab some baits and head to the lake. As soon as you get to the fishing section, it's straight to the green goodness. Absolutely the biggest stash of Guggen baits at this Dick's Sporting gets you guys. <laughs> Look at this. Check us out. The, the Guggen takeover. Did I just crack I think she is. Revolver! <laughs> Becca's found the revolvers. <laughs> wow. All right guys, so we're quickly gonna stock up on some baits and hit the water. So we have been running out of underspin hooks and you guys have frequently been asking me which ones we're using because we've been tearing it up lately on the Saucy Swimmer 4.8 inch size and an underspin. So I'm kind of glancing around here. If I see some owner beast ones, I was going to grab those. Otherwise I might just go with whatever I see. There's so many hooks, this is ridiculous. Okay, let me find these things first and then I'll tell you about them. Fair enough. All right, we found some 3 aught flashy swimmers. They're 3 16th ounce. I just don't know if that's as heavy as I would like, but they're all sold out. The DFW locals been watching our videos and they've been stocking up on these hooks, man. I can't find anymore. Oh gosh, okay, moving on. Yo, this place will suck you in. I've never seen a dicks like this before in my life. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go as fast as possible right now because I don't even wanna know how much money I'm spending. Yeah, it's already. Bad. It's bad. My cart's already like full. Yeah, full of Too us. Too much Guggen stuff. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, we saw some down? the other night. Becca almost stepped on one. Oh, that was yeah, I almost stepped on a snake yeah, uh, the other day. It was pretty scary. We have made it to the ramp, y'all, and I had to make a uh, wardrobe change. Let me tell you what, this is like the first day since you've been here, Becca, that it is like just hot. hot. Yeah, it's been just nothing but overcast and crazy windy almost the entire time. No, you're fine. Oh, yeah. We're looking good. Oh, yeah, the rods might hit. No. That's on them. <laughs> on them. Rods might hit the trees. A little to the left. Definitely Todd's fault. All right, I'll grab the strap real quick. Sometimes we do this ahead of time, sometimes we do it last minute. Just depends on kind of how steep the ramp is. We'd have been fine, but yeah. All right, trim her down, crank her up. Mercury Pro XS, baby. <laughs> how far are we going? <laughs> yeah, tree mile run today. We're fishing a micro lake. <laughs> gonna make a big run to the other side should take about 10 seconds at full throttle in fact we might be on the bank if we were to do that <laughs> this is the first time in a while we've had four people on the hot tamale at one time it's going to be a good old-fashioned time and we already agreed whoever catches like the least amount of fish or loses whatever challenges we put together today their, their big cameras just going in the water lost all footage for the day yes. and won't be able to make a video so you won't even have to worry about subscribing to that channel because it'll it won't you there's no video to be seen <laughs> <laughs> yes be sure to check out fishing grubs aka todd and also becca's channels linked down in the description i'm drifting into the reeds devin's about to hop on the boat and we're going to actually cast a line in probably like five minutes plus into this video already i got you it's it's just up a little too high Oh. Okay, got him. First fish. Oh, it's big. Just kidding. But it's not half bad. Yeah, we might be we might get a handful off this point, so I might just you might just stick it here. Stuck! Okay, we tossed a little guy in the live well for a second just because we're doing a bit of a challenge today, and then also I've got a little uh promotion I'm doing on Instagram soon and I need to get a couple pictures, but there could be a hot bite off this point, so I kinda wanna get back in the zone. We're just kinda rigging up, chowing down, and getting ready for a good day. Or, or could easily make a bad move. Got him, got him. Ooh, it's the sauce. 
It's the sauce with the little spinners. It's the little blade. Yeet. <laughs> are we going total length? Are we going size? What are we doing? Because I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> just numbers? Okay. It's the second time we've ever fished this lake, so we're just hoping to even get on a bite. And we got the second one in the boat right there. Saucy swimmer on the underspin doing work. I'll tell you more about it here. It's good because although there's good clarity in this water, it's not crystal clear. So what that means is a nice little flash helps bring them in. And then this lifelike kick of that Gobi Saucy Swimmer in 4.8 inch just gets them every time. You guys always ask me and I forget what <laughs> brand these bladed hooks are or underspins. And I believe it's a Wu Tungsten quarter ounce with like a three or four aught hook on there. So don't quote me on that, but I'm, I know we've bought some Wu Tungsten ones in the past and I've liked them. So quarter ounce and it might be like the same size hook if it's a quarter ounce across the board, like a different size aught hook might be like uh, less weight or more weight. So I've been going with a quarter ounce. That's, that's just what I like, that's what I like. <laughs> that is on the muscle rod for strong hook sets. I'm just kind of creeping it a little lower in the column. And then I got the SLX XT reel here and 15 pound floral carbon. Let's stop messing around and try and get another one. But yeah, yeah, it's nine feet. So right off this point is literally perfect. You just rip through all of them. Dang, look at all those bait. That's not you. That's a, that's a big fish. Oh, oh, oh get ready. Get ready! Eating. Oh, oh sh the big fish. There was just like a big bass that roamed through the bait, literally right in front of the boat. That was insane. That was cool. You thought it was me went through him. I, I thought it was. Like, was Dang it, did. it started going that way. Fish are in abundance. Oh, she's going jerk bait. She's going specialty. She's going the thing she said she wasn't gonna use. Yeah, I, I, I tried not to, but. <laughs> but Becca's gonna go back home with a secret, and it's called the saucy swimmer underspin. <laughs> We stopped using it for a while though, and then you caught a couple on it the other day, and we've just been like nonstop. What you got? There we yeah, go, baby. jerk bait, sealing the deal. Oh my gosh! Woo! Back up, right, first point. Trebles for the win. Full size scout. She's rocking three treble hooks. Not even scared. Oh right, I'm terrified. <laughs> yeah, this is good. This is good. So y'all, we're on just like a straight up grass flat. It's like two to four feet all the way back in here. I mean, we've had some areas where the grass is almost to the surface, and we're just thinking. Okay, it says 62 degree water temps back here. We're thinking that there could be some bass or even should be some bass in this area. We have not come across like much of anything, not even really bait fish. So we're definitely seeing them out there in eight feet. We're thinking that's a sign and we should just skip uh, the rest of this. But at the same time, we're like, you know what? Let's just work it all the way back, eliminate it. We've only fished this lake one time. We didn't hit back here. So you don't want to leave any stone unturned. That's our thinking. So we're just kind of working this and eliminating it. Then we're going to head back out there to eight feet. Watch, we're going to get bit as soon as we get back out there, I bet. We got some top waters going, some swim baits. We got some lunker logs getting tied on. It is a party out here before the thunderstorms tonight. So hopefully as uh, the sunset approaches, we just get on a crazy bite, prefrontal type of deal. I'm sure. Oh, oh, what, what, what? I had a hit, but I didn't know where to set the hook. Throw that, uh... GoPro away. Back there we go. Got him. You got him. Nice, Devin. Did like <laughs> right after I gave you guys that update, Devin pulls one in on the saucy swimmer. Hey, little baby fish. Cool, little baby fish mouth. All right, guys. Just kidding. Indeed, there are fish back here. Nothing of size that we have seen as of yet. Go ahead and get him in the water. But if you guys are digging this dangler shirt I am wearing, you can check it out on the Google Squad website. Link in the description. Get you some. I need to change my battery, and I think open a white claw. Oh, oh, so good. oh, I got a fish in the boat. That's now I can, now I'm allowed to. Todd, you can have a white claw after you catch your fish. Oh, everyone else. <laughs> Let's work back out there. I think the potential is, I think the potential is not here. These are so beds. Like, is it post spawn here? I haven't seen any fry though. Yeah. From what I've been told. From what I've been told. Oh, he's, he swam with it right to the left. I saw him as I missed it. I literally saw him. It was a little one. Me it wasn't attack. huge. I almost just died. You'll be okay. <laughs> In the face! <laughs> he was going left. I thought I felt a bite, but I was like, okay, that was grass. And then it started darting to the left. And I'm like, got him. Not. Yes? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Lunker log. Weightless. He's running right at me. He's trying to get you in the grass. What? Biggest okay. of the day. Okay. Biggest of the day. Okay. Yeah, light line. Light line. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> little one. Here you go, bud. Nice. Perfect. Nice fish. Okay. Yeah, Becca. That was like that was like a fun fight. That was such a crazy fight. He was like zig 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 zig, zig and then he just started running at me. And I was yeah, like, that was cool. Oh, yeah, the spinning gear like just definitely made it epic too. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, look at these stumps right here. There's definitely something on there. There we go. Got it. Got it. <sighs> Crappie. Oh, like a Come here. Come, Come here. here. <laughs> that does not count. Bubba content. Yes. We just needed this. <laughs> that does not count. <laughs> 
And there's some like logs over here. We gotta mark this spot. This is good. Right. Look at these fish that I'm tracking. They don't look big, or they don't look small. <laughs> they don't look big. They're cruising like yep. with the boat. Yep. To the right. Yep. Like, I'm gonna go through them. Four good ones. Oh, I just went through them. I think someone's fucked. There was two on it. Because one was coming at it, and then another one almost chased it after it. Like, like came up to it. We're in them. Dude, we could drop down a crappie rig and oh catch so God. many. We are in them. They're, they're gonna be running through. They like this spot. Get ready. Oh, oh did you get, did you, dude, you had one. Mad. Look, yep, that, that might be a bass. That might be a bass. That's something bigger. He's at you. That's, he is at the moment, but he was on you. I know. So looking at it. There's, there's some. Oh, he's about to be, he's right under the boat now. There's a few, we'll chase him down. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Nice. Swoosh, oh, swoosh. <laughs> nice, crappie on the death stalker. This is a little, little tight. Nice. Oh my God. <laughs> What'd you just do? Were you just laying down? Yep. I was just sleeping. And I caught that. I was just sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> That's how good the Death Stalker is. You can sleep and catch fish. Dude, I was not. Becca was literally just laid out flat. I was about to say she's working on her tan and then like freaking seriously just got bit. Guys, the bite has died off a little bit. Becca, show them your big catch. I mean, come on. We got some bass in the boat. We're gonna go ahead and let these things go. There you have it, y'all. Off the water, the wind got crazy. Becca reeled in one last fish in the yeah. creek off camera. Uh, you guys are gonna have to check out her episode on that one. Also, don't forget to subscribe to both channels, y'all. Show some love for the Northerners. Becca, Todd, linked in the description. Devin's behind the camera. Thank you so much for filming, babe. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. <gasps>